Hey beautiful people, it's your boy, Joshua Martin, and welcome to this four-part series, The Making of Throne of Fire. Now the reason why I split it up into four videos is that I want to cover each segment of making a time lapse well enough where I don't rush anything. And then two, I don't want the videos to be too long. So in this first video, I'll be discussing the planning and the purpose. So let's jump right in. Whenever you're starting a project, a big project that you think is gonna take some time, you should start getting into the habit, like myself, of building a framework, a point A and a point B, your start and your ending, uh, figuring out what components you might need to even accomplish this, this project, or even like the knowledge you might be lacking about this project. So best practices, is to figure out the, the parts that you need to make something work. Um, a lot of times I find myself, I do this a lot, and a lot of creators probably do this too, we jump right into a project, we say, oh, this is great, let's just start doing it. And that's good, but for me, I hit a wall very quickly. I started and then I just stopped because I didn't have a vision, I didn't have something to kind of walk me through it, a plan, so. That's definitely something you need to keep in consideration whenever you're starting a project. So the concept of Throne of Fire came from my obsession with clouds, sunsets, nature, and my, my desire to, to try to communicate my feelings and thoughts about the God of the Bible. Living in Miami, specifically where my apartment is located, uh, helped a lot with this project. As many of those who live in Miami, we know that hurricane season is from May to November. So that means you'll get these large isolated thunderstorms. And so where I live, there's nothing but like flat farmlands around here. So you can see these isolated storms in the distance. And it's quite amazing, I think. You can see these huge rain clouds billowing up from the top and you see the storms from the bottom and lightning. When the clouds pass past the sun, you get these amazing colors, amazing dramatic scenes. So that was like my canvas right there. How, how can I not take a time lapse of that? And the fact that this is during the summer, the days are much longer. So sunset wasn't happening until about 7.15, 7.30, later than that. So coming home from work, I would get there at the perfect time, the golden hour. And speaking of the golden hour, there are two apps, well, one app in particular that I used quite often just to understand the timing of things. And it's called Ryzen. And this app is just to show you the golden hour in your area and the twilight and vice versa from dusk to the morning gold. The other app is the uh, time-lapse calculator or TLC. <laughs> and basically, if you're, if you're not familiar with intervals, this will kind of help you calculate. You could punch in, you know, the, 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 your uh, duration, how long you want to shoot your frame rate, how you're gonna play it back, and it'll kind of calculate how many images you need to hit that target mark. But we'll get into that in more detail as, as this series progresses. So going back to what I was saying about having a plan early on, one thing, when I started doing these time lapses, I was in the mindset of, oh, this is gonna be done in a week, I'll get it done and push it out. I had no idea it was gonna take five months and I, should have had, I shouldn't have been so naive about it because this project, as you can imagine, really, is dependent on the weather and my patience. <laughs> Five months is a long time for just a two minute video. But after I began to really get into the process of doing this, I became a little bit more decisive of what I want the images to look like. And so it, it took me going out every single, almost every single day of the week, seeing what type of sunset there is. Yeah, it takes time. Something, something like this does take a lot of time. And uh, I hope that this series would help. There are a lot of videos out there about time lapses, but I want to I want to kind of talk with you, talk to you all through this process of of not just a time lapse, but just making something over a period of time. And there are some tips and tricks that I can definitely show you all how to do. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> 